it's Yulia Tabat here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at Rawesome Healthy and welcome to another video. I am really excited about this one and I think it's a, it is a very important video for those of you who have been referred to hysterectomy. So today we are going to talk about what you must, 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 must know before you agreed to have this procedure and the reason why i'm making this video is because we often get emails from ladies and we talk to ladies as well who have been referred to hysterectomy and they are freaking out they don't want to do it they want to find natural ways of healing their body and restoring their health without going through that radical and sometimes unnecessary procedure. So with hysterectomies, the statistics are about 600,000 women in the US every single year go through hysterectomy. So that means that 600,000 ladies will have their uterus either partially or fully taken out of them, that vital organ that is supposed to be there, that nature has created to be there in the first place, is gonna get removed. And what's shocking is that a study showed that 18% of women didn't actually need it at all. So that means, if you think about it, 18 women out of 100 don't need to go through this painful procedure in the first place. Now, obviously there is cost involved with uh, going through hysterectomy and uh, the financial cost okay financial cost is about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars and then on top of that of course there are also post-surgery recovery and missing work and not earning and uh, pain for more doctor's visits but actually the financial cost of it is small if compared to emotional cost and compared to the impact that it can have on your life. So obviously, you know, there is a reason why doctors suggest hysterectomy and when women experience endometriosis, when they have bleeding, when they have fibroids, when they have problems with their ovaries, when they, when they have um, uh, cancer, cervix cancer, for example, they will suggest, often suggest hysterectomy. And um, it's, uh, of, you know, going to doctors and going into the traditional medical approach to health or to actually sick care. It's not health care, it's sick care. There are usually two options that you're given and either to take medication for the rest of your life or to remove the organ. Let's cut the whole thing out. It's causing way too many problems. Let's take it out. And again, as I said, 18 out of 100 women, statistically, don't even need to go through that procedure. So going through hysterectomy obviously has risks associated with it. And risks are infections, so experiencing infections. Um, risks are also experiencing blood clots and reacting negatively to the drugs used during the, the surgery. Um, although it doesn't frequently happen but it can still happen death you know actually people dying from the surgery and uh, people experiencing problems damage to their organs to their urinary tract for example because of hysterectomy and um, a recent study also shows that when hysterectomy is done for ladies who are 35 and under they can actually experience long-term problems with their cardiovascular health. So with their heart, heart is uh, starting to experience heart-related issues. So with um, once hysterectomy has been done, women won't menstruate any longer. And if ovaries have also been removed during hysterectomy, that means that straight away a female is gonna go into menopause. Not only that, the, the really sad reality of it is that obviously when hysterectomy is done for ladies who are, who are in their reproductive age, they're not going to be able to bring a child into this world. And for those of you who want to go through this experience, it's, it's devastating. It means that 
you will not be able to go through pregnancy, you will not be able to give birth, and you will not be able to hold that newborn child in, in your hands. And obviously I understand that it's something that you will be discussing with your doctor and this video is for educational purposes only and it is something that's going to be your decision. But there are women who actually save themselves from hysterectomies. There are women who chose different path and who have been able to overcome their hormonal imbalances and give birth naturally and regain their fertility and go through a healthy pregnancy and go through a healthy life as well. And the two options that are given to women by doctors, and when you come to a doctor, you know, you've got, you've got problems, you've got endometriosis, or you're experiencing severe abdominal pains, and, or you, you know, you've got abnormal um, precancerous uh, condition of the cervix, so you've got cancer of the cervix, let's just take it, let's just take it out. The traditional route to, 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 to your health issues will never go into your diet and lifestyle and understanding what caused it in the first place. And this is where, you know, health coaches come in and this is where our system is something that can help people reverse, reverse challenges and reverse complications. So when, 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 for example, when we work with our clients, instead of saying okay you've got this problem well you just need to deal with that symptom we will look deep and understand why has that problem emerged in the first place what is the root cause of it so if let's say for example we're talking about fibroids and you have been referred to a hysterectomy because of it and it's just getting out of hand and they're growing and painful what is the root cause of fibroids is it, is it to do with your diet? Is it to do with the body that's just overloaded with toxins? Is it to do with unhealthy gut? Is it to do with your weight? Is it to do with your lifestyle? And what needs to be changed? And perhaps one or everything that needs to be changed in order for you to start healing and balancing your health challenges naturally. And again, I've seen ladies on my, we've been working with our clients for six years and I've been following a plant foods, whole foods lifestyle myself for the last nine years and I've seen it happen. I've seen ladies reverse their fibroids naturally and live without pain and experience a very different quality of life. And again, if the root cause is not addressed in the first place, then another thing will pop will pop up later on in life. All of a sudden it's metabolic syndrome. All of a sudden it's blood sugar that's out of balance. All of a sudden it's something else in the body, you know, heart-related problems and high cholesterol and high blood pressure, and ri the risk of stroke, the risk of losing your life. So I wanted to make this video to help you make the right choice for yourself. And if you want to learn about the five steps that our clients use to reverse their hormonal imbalances and drop up to 50 pounds completely naturally, 10 to 50 pounds completely naturally, without, restriction, without restricting themselves of carbohydrates, without going on crazy diets, then do sign up to my free online masterclass where I will walk you through these steps. So the link is on the screen. It's Ross and Healthy dot com forward slash webinar it's a free event so make sure you claim your spot there all right thank you so much for watching this video what are your thoughts on this subject i would love to hear from you i know it's a very vulnerable topic that uh, we've covered today in our video so leave your comments post your comments in the comment section and remember to like this video share it with other people subscribe to our channel for more videos and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Eat sweet, keep fit. Ciao for now.